Hi guys, this is part two of the quad laser build. Um, let me just recap what we did in the first episode. Uh, we examined the pieces, uh, we took the mold lines off, then we washed them in washing up liquid to remove any excess um, molding chemicals. Uh, now these are dried off, we need to do step two. Now, I did say at the end of the episode that we were debating <laughs> whether to put holes in the end of these to add a bit more realism. And the general consensus on the channel is to do it. So I don't feel pressured to do it, but I'm going to give it a go. If I mess up, there's probably something I can do to fix it, but <laughs> I've got four of them. So, um, best place to start. Um, it's always a case of right tool for the right job. Um, right, having a good long think about this. Um, I did find a file. This is not my file set, this is an old GW file, but it will do for now. Um, right, so what we want to do is put two holes in the end of this. If I can focus on that. It doesn't like to focus very well on this map, but you'll get the gist of it. Um, right, the best part, the best way of doing this. Right, the best way. Now here are the guidelines. This is quite an advanced step and it can be quite dangerous because it involves uh, knives and such. So if you're a child, I would get an adult to do it for you or adult supervision because this is quite a tricky stage and I don't want to see people with fingers cut off and things like that. So what are we going to do? Right. Um, first part would be mark, mark the holes. So what we've got, we've got our hobby knife here, very sharp. Be very careful with that. Second part uh, would be to find the right drill piece and then drill a sufficient hole. And then third part would be to file any excess off that we don't need. Um, if you can see on here, I've got a Dremel. Now I have seen a few people who tried to attempt this with a Dremel, but obviously I don't have the right attachments and I think this could go horribly wrong because this is extremely powerful. <laughs> So it's a case of you want to take your time with this because it's it's going to be quite delicate and you, there's not there's not a whole lot of room for margin of error. So what we're going to need now this is an old um, Games Workshop clamp, very cool little clamp because it sticks to the actual desk via suction. So that's very cool. And what you want to do, you want to keep this, you want to keep the turret in there just so it's nice and secure. Right, that's in, that's in good. Right, next part would be to move some of this stuff out of the way so we can see this a bit better. Ah, oh, that's better, much better. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mark pilot holes where we want to start drilling so it's it's best guess as I said this is quite a finicky bit of work so we'll do one there and the advantage of having a pilot hole is you've got something to start from when you start drilling I have to apologize my face comes into the camera I'm trying to see oh Lost the edge there. So we're going to put the knife away now. Now we've got two pilot holes. Now, what we're going to do is get what's called is a hobby drill. You can pick them up pretty much everywhere. And the end is, I believe, a zero point. I think it's either 0 0.9 or one mil piece on the end. Obviously, we can start small and go big, and we can make it as big as we like. I'm gonna move this because I can't see particularly well. That's better. So we're gonna stick that in there. I'm gonna place my hand on the top, and then 
once I've measured the right area and I'm in my pilot hole. Yep, that's right. And then we're slowly going to dig into our quad laser. You can see the shapings coming off. See, that's made a quite nice hole there. And it's, it's okay, it's not perfect. Let's do a bit on this side. Just trying to find our pilot holes again. A little bit off on our pilot hole. And that's why I said you've got to be very, very, very careful because you only get one piece. And if you mess this up, it's going to go. It's not going to be too hard to fix. I can go over that if anybody's got any further questions on how to do that. See, our vice is not holding very well because it's not tight. Let me adjust that a bit. Everything that will go wrong is going wrong on camera. Perfect. Right. That's in there a bit more secure now. Right. Save so you watching this. I'm going to do a jump cut. And we'll be right back. And we're back. Here we are. A little bit of a different position. I've got the camera on in my hand now, so we can, we can go down and have a look at what we have done. It didn't take me too long. Maybe another, maybe another minute or so after I turn the camera off. But uh, I think adding the holes kind of gives it a bit more effect. I don't know what you think. Probably need to just straighten them up a bit more and then repeat the process three more times with the rest of them down there. Right, I will get that done and then we will move on to the next step. And there you have it folks. Those are some mighty fine <laughs> laser cannons. But they were not good enough. Uh, sorry for the jump cut folks. Um, I looked at that video and I came back to it because I wasn't too happy with the actual result. Um, I wanted to make these look a bit more uniform, a bit more um, symmetrical. So I did this, taking my hobby knife into the hole and I went around the hole, just shaving off the edges, uh, making the hole slightly bigger at the top, which kind of had made the hole kind of uh, bigger at the top than it was at the bottom, forming sort of like a cone. I'm not sure if you could see it too well on the camera. I think it looks good. I think the finish is much better. Um, as you can see, putting them together then and be like Because <laughs> they've got kind of like a dual nozzle on the end, so obviously you need two holes to do it. But I think that makes definitely makes the miniature look much, much better. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, in the next part, we're going to be um, undercoating the metal and starting to paint. So if you like this, uh, give it a like, uh, comment. And we will see you in the next chapter. Thanks.